Hello, I'm Carol Vorderman and welcome to Perfect 10. 10 questions, 10 points, all done in just 10 minutes. Yes, I'm back with another dose of riddles, puzzles and brain teasers that will educate, entertain and irritate the life out of you. There are 10 tricky teasers every day, Monday to Friday, for a possible total of 50 points by the end of the week. Not only is it good for the mind, it's also quite a lot of fun too. So make sure you subscribe, follow and like to get the next episode as soon as it drops. Now, let me tell you that today is one of my favourite days of the year because it is the International Day of Mathematics or Pi Day. Yes, that's P-I, not P-I-E, by the way, not that stuff. Uh, Why Pi? We'll take a look at the date, March the 14th. And 3.14 on 59 is pi. And you've got the first three digits of pi. So it's like third month, 14th day, 14th of March. Well, in America anyway, it's pi day. At the end of yesterday's show, I left you with this. I asked, which historical leader is an anagram of a jail cures us? The answer is the Roman emperor himself, Julius Caesar. Well done if you got that right. But as you well know by now, no points for the anagram. That was just to keep you thinking. Have you cracked a daily perfect 10 score yet, by the way? Could today be the day? Well, let's find out. We call question one your starter for a perfect 10 as it'll hopefully get a point on your scorecard right from the off. Here it is. What is the largest odd number you can make by reordering the digits? Two, nine, eight, four, nine. I told you there'd be numbers, but don't worry, this one is quite easy, really, to kick things off. Is at the ready for question two, as this is our hearsay round. Okay, everybody, stand back, please. I'm going to use the flamethrower to put this out. Say what you hear and you can't go far wrong. I hear flames, I hear firefighters, But what's the well-known phrase or saying? Answers, as always, after the final question. We call question three, Carol Lateral Thinking. Here it is. How many days are there in four consecutive years? A little bit of simple maths, but there's an easy way to slip up. Make sure you've thought of everything. The next round is for Masters of Memory, is question four, our memory round. Listen to the clip. Obtain as much information as you can. The question will follow. Here we go. Uh, I'm just checking. Uh, has everyone put the order in for coffee? That's uh, two caramel lattes for Matt and Lucy. Uh, black Americanos for Julie, Andy and Amir. There was a oat milk macchiata for Mira. Hot chocolate for Rebecca. And it was it an espresso for Ian? Got it. I'm heading to Franco's on Palm Street. So if anyone wants a pastry as well, just let me know. Wow, that's a big coffee run. I bet they wish they'd never asked. My question, however, is this. Who ordered a hot chocolate? It was all in the clip, so reach back into your mind and see if you can pull the answer to the front. Almost halfway through today's questions, and how are you doing? Is your score better than yesterday's? Are you maybe even heading for that elusive perfect 10? Well, our next three questions are all about the three Fs. Frivolous, familiar, and fun. Question five, and this one is about a celebrity maths fan. Maths wizard and broadcasting legend Johnny Ball is the father of which BBC radio presenter? Now, if you want to turn the tables and send me a puzzle question or riddle, I'd love to hear what tricky teasers you have up your sleeves. So get in touch on our socials. Just drop me a message at Perfect10Carol on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. And who knows, one of your questions might end up in the show, educating, entertaining and infuriating the rest of our Perfect 10 family, including me. Here's question six. On a graph, does the letter X represent the vertical axis or the horizontal axis? Flashbacks, I can see going back to school maths lessons. Oh, well, maybe this is something that's part of your everyday life. I don't know. But do you know the answer to that? Have a bit of a break from maths now. Here's question seven. How many colours can be found in the Google logo? All right, question eight is one in, one out, where you have to either swap or remove one letter in a word to make a new one. Here it is. Which letter can you change in the word pink? P-I-N-K. 
K to get something you might hear on a form. Feel free to hit pause if you need a little bit more thinking time. That is not cheating here on Perfect 10. The only form of cheating is if you go away and look for the answer. But I can wait. Okay. Ready to move on? I hope so. We call question nine. I know, I know. This, as the answer should swim into view if you apply a little common sense. Here it is. What is the only number that's twice the sum of its digits? Okay, so I'm looking for a two-digit number. When you add those two digits together, you get half of that original number. The answer, for example, could not be 13, as 1 plus 3 equals 4, which is not half of 13. And here we are at our final daily riddle. Question 10 is, how do you get from 98 to 72 using just one letter. So what's the answer? Hmm. That is today's Perfect 10. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's questions. And if you're looking for even more puzzles and riddles, head on over to at Perfect 10 Carol on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok, where you can join the rest of us. Perfect 10. 10 questions, 10 points, all done in 10 minutes, and 10 tough ones the International Day of Mathematics today. But did you score a perfect 10? Here come the answers. Question one. What is the largest odd number you can make by reordering the digits 2, 9, 8, 4 and 9? The answer is 9, 8, 4, 2, 9. 98,429. Question two was hearsay. I asked you what well-known phrase or saying was hidden this sounds. Okay, everybody, stand back, please. I'm going to use the flame for... The answer is fighting fire with fire. Question three was, how many days are there in four consecutive years? And the answer is 1,461. And I get to that because we have 365 days in a non-leap year. 365 times four is 1,460. Then you add the one day for the leap year, of course, and then you get the answer, 1,461. So how many of you forgot about the leap year? I can hear the groans from here. <laughs> question four was our memory question, and we heard a rather large coffee order. I asked who ordered a hot chocolate, and the answer was Rebecca. Well done if you got that right, and if you're popping out, my latte, please. Question five, hit into the three Fs. Maths, wizard and broadcasting legend, Johnny Ball, is the father of which BBC radio presenter? And the answer is the wonderful Zoe Ball. Johnny was a legend of children's television, fronting shows ranging from play school to think of a number. And Johnny, Zoe, if you're listening, hello. Question six, on a graph, does the letter X represent the vertical axis or the horizontal axis? The answer is the horizontal axis, Y, represents the vertical. Question seven, how many colours can be found in the Google logo? A hard one, I think, this. The answer is four colours. In spite of there being six letters in the word, there are only four colours. Both of the Gs in the word Google are blue. The first O and the E are red. The second O is yellow and the L is green. Question eight was, of course, one in, one out. Which letter can you change in the word pink to get something you might hear on a farm? Change the letter P for a letter O to get oink. O-I-N-K. Question nine, what is the only number that's twice the sum of its digits? And the answer is 18. One plus eight equals nine. Nine times two is 18. And finally, question 10 was a daily riddle. And it was, of course, a maths riddle. How do you get from 98 to 72 using just one letter? Well, if you put an X between the 9 and the 8, you get 9 times 8, which equals 72. Tricky riddle to end the day.
How did you do? Did you score a perfect 10? If not, don't worry, there's always another chance tomorrow. Every day spent with Perfect 10 is a day that you've given your mind a workout on, and that is not to be sniffed at at all. Remember to follow us on YouTube and across our social media channels so you don't miss out on any of our episodes. We've got daily content exclusive to Facebook, Instagram and TikTok and we'd love for you to join the rest of us over there as well. well. That's nearly it for Tuesday, but before I go, I'll leave you with today's anagram. Which classic Hollywood actress can be found in July Grandad? J-U-L-Y, July G-R-A-N-D-A-D, Grandad. I'll leave that with you. Answer tomorrow when it's a whole new day of questions to educate, entertain and irritate. I am Carol Vorderman and that was my perfect 10. I hope you have a perfect day. <laughs>